Hello my friends, welcome back to a Feel Good Friday session with me, Sasa. So a few weeks back, I talked about what is attention currency, remember this? And how to win some every day. Today's sharing is related to that. Let me begin by saying, if you do not control your schedule, your schedule will control you. And therefore, down the rabbit hole you go. So, follow me till the end to learn about that one simple strategy that I practice daily to control my schedule. So have you ever felt like everything takes longer when you like focus? Hmm? Or do you end up working more but accomplishing less? So take a moment and think about your professional goals, personal goals, fitness goals, health goals. Are there areas in your life that you were just being busy but not really productive. Mm. So recently I listened to a podcast by this um, guy called Jonathan Fields. Uh, he talked about how we can just forget about finding work-life balance, forget about finding work-life blending. Uh, these days we are witnessing and experiencing work-life bleeding. So work-life schedules bleeding into each other uh, on a larger scale than before. And these days there seems to be a widespread amount of uncertainties and burnouts that I know about that has made it harder to concentrate, harder to stay motivated, harder to stick to our goals. So what can we do? <laughs> if you've been following my uh, sessions, you know I like to offer a simple tool to help you um, <laughs> to help you with whatever we're talking about. So three words for this. Schedule it in. I kid you not. What is important for you? Schedule it in. What would you like to, uh, what do you want more of in your life? Schedule it in. Here are a few examples to inspire you. What do you want more of? More green time, less screen time. Schedule it in. Walk on grass and feel the earth with your bare feet. Maybe that's what you want. Schedule it in. Dance, sing, write, laugh, cry. Schedule it in. Pick up the phone, call somebody. Schedule it in. Play with children. Play with animals. Schedule it in. Nurture plants. Grow bacteria. Bacteria. Well, if you've been watching my Facebook channel, you know what I've been growing. Schedule it in. Okay, the last one is from Esther Perel, not me, but I'm putting it here because I'm scheduling it. I am scheduling it. it. So the last one is turn yourself on by noticing the warmth of your skin. Wait, let me say that again. Turn yourself on, <laughs> capital letter, by noticing the warmth of your skin, the cycle of your breath, and the steady beat of your heart. Ooh, nice. So, schedule it in. So, everything that I've just mentioned, the examples, are actually my personal uh, scheduling it in practice. So, my friends, scheduling it in creates context and provides structure for your daily activities. It gives you a solid foundation which you can pivot on or pivot off whenever something pops up. So you might be thinking, okay, I can schedule in, I can schedule it in today, but things can change tomorrow. Yeah, life is like that. Uh, but here's the thing, even though your plans might turn upside down tomorrow, it is the scheduling process that will help you gain clarity and move away from insanity. You know what I'm talking about? Because I do. Here's a strategy on how to schedule it in. This is what I do. Design your ideal week. Great. <laughs> it is, okay, what is an ideal week? Ideal week is an overview of what is important and what you want more of in your life. Starting with habits, 
uh, for me, starting with habits that I'm trying to start or repeat daily on my schedule. For example, da -da -da -da, here is actually my scrappy little list. Wait, wait, wait. Da -da. Okay, my ideal week, as it says up here. So, you may not see all the details, but <laughs> this is the idea of it, okay? So, um, so the, the habits that I'm trying to start and repeat every day, it's here. For example, morning rituals, da -da -da -da, except for the play. Even play is in my list. So I have uh, morning rituals, I have exercising in here, I have meditating in here, tidying up when I want to tidy up, really. Otherwise, it just doesn't end. Playtime, as you can see, play, 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 play. I need to schedule in play because I tend to forget to play. Yeah, I need to remind myself, play. And resting periods. This is actually one of the things that really helped me re, uh, regain attention currency is what I write here, white space. At this hour, 9 p.m. at night, I take white space for myself. Basically, just to have a, a resting period without planning and just allowing whatever comes up. White space. Oh, such a beautiful thing. Uh, <laughs> so that is my ideal week. Some of the tasks happen only once a week, but then they automatically repeat on my schedule. For example, um, social connection. That, that is one I put in because I have made it a point to pick up the phone and call somebody, at least one person every week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me move away from insanity, remember? <laughs> yeah, so before I set up my ideal week, I was constantly negotiating with myself about when do I do the things that I need to do. For example, when should I go buy groceries? You know, it, it can be organic and, <laughs> organic, the schedule can be organic. You're like, oh, I'm out of groceries, so just go buy one. Next day, I'm out of these, go buy another one, and that. That is too complicated for me. I do not work that way. So I schedule it in every Tuesday. I do grocery run. Whether I have a lot of fruits and vegetables or I have zero fruits and vegetables, it's Tuesday. It's grocery day. Otherwise, nada. <laughs> no grocery. Oh, then I'll just go to the shop and buy in small amounts until I go to my main uh, shopping place and buy in bulk for the week. That's how I plan it now. So, and before I set up my ideal week, I think about when should I do my daily planning? Is it daily before or after breakfast? Now I don't think about it because it's done. All I need to do is to look at the little details and write down what are the tasks for the day. And then before I set up my ideal week, I think about how many hours should I work in a day? Now I know. And then before I set up my ideal week, do I want, I think about do I want to create my content in the morning or evening? Usually that takes so much brain power. Making decisions like this, even the little itty bitty ones, takes us the part of our brain that we need to focus and uses up energy that we need for more important things. So these days, focus and energy, what I call the attention currency, they are in short supply. So practice deciding once and then follow up. Decide once and follow up. Let me repeat, decide once and follow up. Okay, so even if your work is less flexible and if your, a large part of your day is already spoken for, it can still help you uh, by creating morning and bedtime routines. Mm -hmm. You can try that. And well, Ah, here's another tip. Try to build activities, schedule in activities that tend to go undone unless you really make time for them. For example, exercise. This is a big one. A lot of people push exercise till the very end of the day and then you're like flat and then you're like, I don't feel like it, right? So schedule it in. Yes! Schedule it in. For me, I schedule in white space. That is the main thing and play time. Like I said, uh, I can exercise and I can work uh, just because <laughs> that's how I'm wired. And then I forget to play 
and I forget to rest, which is white space. Yeah, white space for me is very clear because it's not just laying down, rest, do nothing. It's white space. It's like time for anything. Creation, for example. Okay, so my friends, so what are the three highest priority tasks that you like to accomplish this week? Type it in the comment section. I am so curious to know what are yours. You have heard my priority task. Now I'd like to know about yours. Three, just three, name three. That is your task that you like to do, accomplish this week. Next week is Friday, so plan for next week. Yeah, so let's keep making small changes and be consistent because that's what will create big magic. My goal is to encourage you uh, empower you and celebrate you. My name is Sasa and you're watching a Feel Good Friday session where you get tips and tools to love yourself a little bit more every day. Till next Friday, my friends, schedule it in. High five.